This is maybe the best view I've ever seen. And these are mountains that I did last year. Mount Filippini. And from here it's, uh, you know, Rome and whatever. This, this place is called Rocca Santo Stefano. No, uh, Rocca Santo Stefano is where I'm going. But uh, this one is uh, uh, Castel San Pietro Romano. Here it is. And uh, ah, these are the mountains that you can see. Wow. Hassan Torres, this is wonderful. Which is that one back there that you, you can't see it. It's, it's that tiny one here. But of course, I've been already. So where are we going now? Well, we're going... It's not here, of course. Rocca Santo Stefano. Where is it? In the mountains. Here we can see some nasty antennas here. But hey, the sheep will gotta communicate. There's the police. So I'm using the tarp for the first time. This thing is very flexible. You can uh, set it up in many kind of ways, you know, even with just one stick in the middle. And uh, but you know, you need some. Uh, if you don't have the right things, you you, you need some oops, twig to put it like this, you know. And while you know, I was trying to. Make it, sh make it sharp on the other hand so that it could uh, go on better. I just, you know, destroy it. You know, the knife, guys, is very, very dangerous. You never should point it in your direction. I was dumb, you know, to do this. But f luckily, you know, I put this finger in my mouth, you know, and I tried to hold uh, the cut with my tongue, you know, and after a while, you know, coagulate it and the uh, blood doesn't flow anymore there. And I'm almost not feeling any pain anymore. So that, that might be useful. You know, when you, uh, your, your saliva, you know, it's good also for disinfecting. You know? So since it was very rough uh, there where I slept in uh, this last town, I, I need some rest. But since it's uh, overcast, you know, you never know. Maybe, maybe it might rain. So I thought, I thought it was the best moment to try the, this tarp here which as you can see is huge so I I used you know this, uh, this you know things that uh, let me show you if, if on this side it's better here it is as you can see guys and this is for uh, plastic this one this one is plastic very easy and light to, to carry so I'm just hanging from one branch and the other so I just needed this this tree and you know since the plane is going like this you know it can you can it, uh, you, you can tie it like this so after pointing the uh, putting this uh, this um, thing here twig whatever uh, you can uh, for, for it for in, in case you um, you don't know if he would hold or not. You put a big rock like this. You know. But anyway, this is cool because it's like green. You know, you it's not easy spotted. You know, and down there, man, there's lots of space. And now uh, maybe it's time also to try this uh, this thing, BV. This is the BV guys. Stratosphere snack packs. Snack pack. Maybe it's the right time because I didn't sleep at all, so maybe I'll sleep now in the day. Who cares? I, uh, as I showed, you know, I found. No, I didn't show it. I found uh, again in that town uh, spring water. Very weird, you know, to find it. Usually uh, they give the sheep only fluoridated water. So now I, I uh, made sure to cut to to uh, take some wood while it still it's uh, dry, you know. And, and, and uh, if you have this stove, you know, that I have, you should always uh, 
uh, either try some smaller ones, you know, more finer ones, so it, to start the fire, or you can uh, like take with the knife some pieces, small pieces of the wood, you know, and with those start the fire, you know. Okay, let's see what happens here. Uh, so this is spring water, both of them. This is the fire. Luckily it's not uh, raining. The sun came out, which is good. You know. I'm here in the rock here. With my sleeping bag as a pillow. Finally found the name of uh, Cushino pillow. So these are olives. This is bread. And these are some herbs that I that I took here while I was climbing. So here's the place guys. Just amazing. You know, much better like but but this you know even though it doesn't rain it's good for shade, you know. Now all this stuff is in the sun but me here is all shade, which is cool. My fire needs some service. See you later. So guys, um, uh, this, this was something amazing uh, today, guys. Um, it's not, um, you know, this is just the tip of the iceberg, you know, what I got for free, which is this place. Um, bathroom and kitchen and everything you know kind of creepy this one but hey there is also the this you know but uh it's not important this guys the important thing is uh this uh, priest you know was you know uh, and did a sermon a sermon uh which was amazing guys amazing i've never seen you know a Catholic priest, you know, do such a such a hard, you know, hitting words to the congregation, you know. They will all had to wear masks, you know, in front of him and to stay like one meter apart, you know, even though they were in the open, in this church in the open, you know. And man, he, he you know, was making fun of them, you know, of wearing a mask, you know, no kinds of things, you know, but in, in a very elegant way, you know, but very, uh, very concise, uh, very hard with, with the with the attack, you know. And so I listened to all the sermon because it was amazing. This is the second time, you know, that I found here in Italy after all this works that I do, you know, uh, that I've talked with lots of priest guys. Uh, this this was the only one that did the sermon, you know, where he was, you know, telling the congregation they are lost, you know, totally lost. Uh, I never, never expected some. I it, it would have been cool, you know, if I recorded all this. This guy was in a, a, like a young priest, maybe 40, 50, no, 50 years old, maybe. But uh, wow, man. Man, I hate these monsters, these Catholic uh, uh, Christians, you know. But this guy, and, and you know, uh, when we came here, after he showed me all this, uh, would give me for free, you know, all these beds and uh, all kinds of things, you know. Uh, I can shower myself and have a shower, how do you say, and uh, maybe eat something in the kitchen here, gas and uh, everything, you know. And uh, so he, uh, I, I wanted to ask him a question because I was curious, man. It, it was, uh, and, I, and I told him, how come, you know, uh, you said to the congregation, okay, I have to do all this theater, otherwise they will put me in jail. And he said that in the Bible, uh, God says, you know, give to Caesar what's to Caesar and give to God what is to God. And, uh, and I asked him, how come God says this? And I told him, maybe because uh, here we are prisoners 
and uh, there's nothing uh, uh, we can do about it. And he told me, not quite like that. He told me that uh, at least I can free put a thought on, uh, on you. The mind is is free. Uh, you have the the choice, you know, to to not believe what they say, for example, you know. But you know, uh, what what would, can you do with these monsters, you know? Uh, if you j uh, don't obey them, you know. They will just kill you or lock you somewhere. But the mind, they cannot get to the mind. You know, when you have the, the moment, the, the opportunity, you act, you know, without believing what they say, you know. Uh, very, you know, you, you might say, ah, oh, very, very uh, looks like, you know, the, the elite themselves wrote this verse, you know, so that they can have uh, obedient uh, sheep. What can I say, man? I'm trying to, to learn. And I ask him, uh, in your opinion, you know, because he, after, after he showed me this, the place here, he, uh, I told him uh, what they are trying to do here. And uh, he told me that they are trying to reset economically the world and also to have one religion, one world religion. And I told him, ecumenism. And he told me, no, it's not ecumenism. You know, they have to defend themselves, guys, but it's the Catholic Christians that are, you know, the Pope that are joining all the, the faith, the religions, you know. So, because he said, in ecumenism, you still have the diversity, you know, it's respected. Uh, kind of, you know. If, if, if a guy, you know, just wears... Uh, the things, the, the dress of another religion, but in in fact is doing the same thing that the other religions do. At that point, you know, there's no diversity there. So this is uh, it was it was cool, you know, to to do this kind of conversation with, with this guy, and uh, and I and and maybe he will show me the church uh, because it was really beautiful. I, I mean uh, this place called Capranica. Capranica. And uh, that's it. If, if I have the chance, if he can allow me to film in the church, I will film in the church. Otherwise, it ends here. See you on the next one, guys.